We're back with some more Final Fantasy 16. And last time we just got our pass so that we can cross the border. Uh, but there's side quests to be done, so let's do those first. Um, probably should have went to this one first. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way. Well, since it's the furthest way, and let's go get started. I want to know right away. Bad uh, news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their fruits. <laughs> so I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? <laughs> Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds good. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Bollock. Three of the finest fellows in Bockland, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> something. I'll be right back. to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from Sam Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. As a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. <laughs> There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. Traipsed. They sorrowflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Fatter Which is the why purse. there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's fast to go this way. Yeah, be doo. Hello. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life, made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. Information. As a cell sword passed through here. Grey hair. Yeah. Now you mention it. There was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back. 
Which way did he go? I... How am I supposed to know? I'll get off down the road, I expect. Now why don't you do the same? And leave me be. Rude. Maybe that's what it is, though. Uh, I guess we can do this quest and then come back to that one. No, uh -oh. the only problem is it might like require me to go out there again as well. So let me just start it up before optimize time. Pardon me, but would you that well-notched steel and impressive physique? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I have need of a sword for hire. You have to go back and yours out into looks the to be a weapon desert. well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, Zemeckian. I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er do wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. And well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. <laughs> Wonderful! Arms are then yours. come, we must away. Formidable but arms. where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road, and from there, onward, to discovery. Quickly, there is not a moment to lose. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er do wells. Yeah. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. I think I did start this one because it's like the side quest is like right outside. Daddy. <sighs> I need to get him to kill already. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Yep. See if I can upgrade some of my skills. Are you hurt? Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels dashed from the very heavens. Yeah, it's much airships, airships, with, yeah. airships with very little debris. thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through oh. the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt, but merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. <sighs> Why did I sign up for this? He's passionate. I'll give him that. That's far. The next one. Looking for someone. A grey haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. 
We saw him climbing up the rocks. <laughs> Those ones over there. <laughs> Mom's like, God damn. Maybe he found his thieves. Mom won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there and that they eat little boys for dinner. Yeah. Shush now. You've said quite yeah. enough already. <laughs> I was like, you only told friend. him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Going up. They can actually climb up here. Did Joseph's thieves already lock their stolen wares all the way out here? Ancient sword. No way is that good enough to equip? Mm. Definitely not, but. I feel like eventually we're gonna use this to craft something way better. I think that's also why we can't sell it. It's our dad's sword. Any goblins? I think they have goblins. Or goblin uh, nest. I think we found our thieves. They don't look happy to see me. Let's get this over with. Stop! Or what? Don't My kill friends. him, he's just protecting his home. What? Joseph. So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. <laughs> I'd ought to have ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know why that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery what? practically solved itself. We've seen our goblins are very I soon found that cozy little homestead and all the missing food. That has beaten his ass. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. <laughs> Do me Not a favor. Fast. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. 
I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Speaking of goblins. <laughs> the other goblins, though. Uh, so interesting. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods, and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward! History awaits! Yeah. 
still in one piece? It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my rambling. Glad to help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? Right, sir. I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, oh, a captive ear was all I really it desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. <laughs> I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Oh, a lot of experience. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. You found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. There'll be no more thieving. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Yes. Next to the checker. Are you Milan, the butcher? butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. <laughs> Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. What's going over here? Oh. Get us through! I'm looking for Bolek. 
I was oh, told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it? The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought you might like a cup. I've never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Papers, no Plenty passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Hold <laughs> on. Well I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. Five wants to get lit too. Come taste my peaches. Taste my peaches. I'll take the large. What I really want to eat. Take that large. Juicy pears. Caravan stops next to the check. Jug of snake spit for the road. Come on, come next on. One. Out of my sight, wretch! <sighs> if our new arrivals had brought... I spoke to your friends. They'll be along soon. That's fantastic news. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together. And the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me. And then there's Milan, who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on, be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous and many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Yeah, so it's Never nice a true to have word spoken. Friends. I'm gonna cut. I don't think there's any requests. We still have a lot of the areas left. I guess this one's supposed to be done, but this whole region is squeezing it. I don't know if the world's gonna change after we, uh, Destroy all the mother crystals. Because yeah, we're doing it to prevent all the you know ether from drying up come and all on, that, I believe. Jug of snake spit the blight the from spreading anymore. Juicy pears. I'm not sure what that means. What? Really? Want to be. All the crystals there you are good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. Me pass. You found it. Oh. Thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. 
If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. It's hard work, and their pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. Wild. And Geets, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Yeah, that's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? Place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan. You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or all goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. Angry as fuck. I see. What? Josh was here. You're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. How do you let Josh win? I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Yeah, the... Then I chest. Answer, your Highness. You will join me in my fight. Can't. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. Want our crystal now, not their crystal. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Buff Phoenix. Though not by Hugo Kuka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. Go against Daddy's orders. Christmas I have case. duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. So what happened at the end of this? What do you argument? know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. 
I really hate her. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Here, so much. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Phallisthea bows to its rightful ruler. You gonna step on it. You bitch. What's <laughs> <laughs> a traitor? Always a traitor. And she betrayed I was daddy. Gave uh, Ros Rosalia. There is another Zaya. darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. This bitch. <laughs> and until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. Mm -hmm. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. I'd like to take Bahamut's family. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together. <laughs> that was little. And bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Wait, hey, that's his uh, lover friend, is it? Got his name, Marcus. Terence. <laughs> My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... Okay, bitch. We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. Hell yeah. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. Hell yeah. Her lady. Oh, looks like we're uh, toppling another crystal. It's really crazy how we can just sneak in and <laughs> have our way with each crystal. But it is the way the story goes. I think this time will definitely be a lot harder uh, than the previous ones. It's, getting... it's technically the. Soldiers are put to the forefront. Torgo. One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. They're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? I guess he's come to terms with most the things. The harbor is empty. And half the market stores too. 
The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. What do you sense? What is it, boy? <sighs> the the Demokians? Probably. Here's Joshua. Post oh, that girl. Vacation and stuff. Let see, girl. What's happening? I don't know. It was, it was Joshua. <laughs> yeah. Way. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that Torgo came up here now he has to come back there. We really are assassins. <laughs> Just jump around rooftop to rooftop. Rooftop in the rooftop. Alright, let's go now. The city's on fire. I'm sure Goons is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Watchman or sentry is to be slain on sight. Spare the citizen. His Highness's orders were clear. Those were Imperial Dragoons. Oh, yeah, we're doing uh, a coup. Annabelle. Right. She's about to get her Muppets. Oh no. I just have a feeling that Dion might die and we'll be able to take Muppets' powers. Let's see what happens now. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. Restore it so or we cool down. We can do it again.
is this then? A civil war. Oh, so we actually probably should have killed them, but it's okay. We didn't know, and they didn't know that we're technically on their side. Wow. Never thought I'd be glad to fall into a sewer. <laughs> oh, crab. Meat crab. I just have a meat crab like that. There it is. The bell tower. The bell tower. It's the right. bell tower. Let's go. Two strike this time. Damn it. We'll have to find a way around. 
around. Actually, isn't there a chest back here? Might have been a different fighting arena that had a chest. There's a chest behind this gate though. That wasn't what I was thinking about. Might have opened it up, I don't remember. We have so many crafting materials, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. These gates remind me of the gates back in the uh First area when we were trying to fight uh, who's her face. Stop in the name of his highness. Oh, it's over. a time mage. Is that it? Oh, that's one of the skills. Oh, yeah. I think I already mastered that or upgraded it, I mean. Oh, yeah, this. 
Uh, I think I like the more damage aspect of that move. I can upgrade this. Upgrade. I uh, don't need a master. Uh, I'm pretty much good on moves, it looks like. Uh, otherwise, I could get this again. Have ignition in this. Hmm. I think I like what I have. That big door. Big fight coming up. Can you see him anywhere? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
Dragon Dance. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Ah. Weaker than what I got. Goots. Over here, Clive! <laughs> he was alright! Goots. Yeah, there you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. <sighs> alright. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. What now? Is that what? Mother Crystal's heart? Oh. What the hell is it doing up there? Oh, is that the same? It's Bahamut. Oh, jeez, it's gonna eat it. The hummus. Super strong. The question is, do we have to fight him? I feel like we have to. The <laughs> people are like, oh. Up to the corner. Wow. Right, uh, right the right 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 Bahamut gone rogue. Your Highness, don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yut. But I yep. must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Yep. He's gonna transform. He transformed. Well, I was gonna see him too. Like, Josh. And Josh was gonna jump into the fight. And it's crazy that. Yeah, it's crazy that all of us are here. All these zombies are here. Oh, he's trying to destroy the crystal himself, but. That's some barrier on there. Oh, shit! Power. It's not good. It's probably a trap set all the time. Oh no, he did destroy it. Um. Did I see that? Actually. Oh wait, no. Crystal reformed around the heart.
beautiful though, but what happened? <laughs> Good. Guess I just stayed home today. So, uh, what do we do now then? We destroy the heart. We might come back! As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? what? Then leave you slot in the ledge! <laughs> I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. None would never forgive us if <laughs> I did. Thank you. Oh, no, wait. wait, it's Mute's Karen's grandson or something? Keep calling her Nan. Nana? Oh. Just let me get me stuff out. Oh, crazy. Let me show you me wares. Me wares. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, let me go ahead and... Right on. Here stuff. you go. Is there how else you need? Yeah, I'm rich as hell, so I might as well, right? Thank you. Mm, I don't need any of these... things. And sell these. Oh, no. Oops. Thirteen of these. I think I counted that right. A pleasure doing business with you. I think I counted that right. So many craft materials. <laughs> How else I can do for you? I love how we can actually craft stuff, even though we need to. That's pretty cool, though. Okay, we got just enough for these things, but again, it's just not worth. You don't want me to make it how else? Oh, good. Uh, let's go and say. Bago. You be brave now, boy. <laughs> I'd say heck yeah. Anything else here? Let's see something. I mean, I can't teleport out. Oh wow, I can. <laughs> I guess it makes sense though, because like, just in case we're not strong enough to, you know, get past this point, then it would be really bad. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Proceeds towards the heart. Oh, it's past time. Yeah. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Yeah, if only we actually talk to each other. Know that we're all on the same side. Much. Oh, good. Pretty sure I didn't even have no to buy those potions. We'll have to find our own path. Yeah, all these are. Do you feel potions. that, Clive? Ether. Oh. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned then. There's no reason to hold back. Oh, 
shit. It's over. Yeah, cool is that, you know, lore-wise, um, Clive and Jill are both dominants, and so they can deal with all this ether everywhere. Of course, Torgal is a possible. He can definitely survive all the ether. Chest. Not the lightning judgment. Again, yeah, I don't really use that one, so I'm good. Potions? No. <laughs> oh. Phoenix! Joshua! Mohammed!
soul. He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. No, he is. <laughs> survived us trying to kill him. We're getting close. 
Like, the heart's way at the top, so I don't know how we're gonna get up there. Unless it, like, sucked it down. Oh, it's all these things. Ew. Somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, who the heck? I don't care what it wants. <laughs> so what is that? Thing? Neither do I. <sighs> oh, necrophobe. I, I, I had a feeling that's what it was. I think I'm going to hang on. Oh,
It's over. It's over. Oof. Yeah, that's really cool. That you fight that in, or yeah, that enemy in Final Fantasy V. End up damaged by ten percent. I say I could just take off this experience and AP gain thingy, but these beasts. Maybe I should. Getting stronger. We can think about them later. Yeah. <laughs> right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. Oh. Yeah, maybe I should equip some of these damage boost thingies. Uh, oh. So these experience and whatnot. The wind up, I like. Wind up. What's we got? Ignition I wanted. Wind up damage by 10%. I don't really see badges of metal increase things. Wind up is square. Yep. Mission is ignition. I think I like the thing. I've actually never. What's with this food? Wonder. Doggo. Tank. Well, how do we forget how we upgrade? Oh, yeah. Forget how we increase pedigree? I think just fighting you know, with Torgol. Just fighting in general, I guess, would increase it. So yeah, that fight went really good because I only used one potion really. We can still leave. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> it's like, eh, let me come back. Uh... Yeah, that was a good fight. It was a little hard because it was like dark, but we yeah. might be able to get up through the building. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's worth a try. Mother. Mother. What are we gonna do to her? It's you. What happened here? He he tried to take him from me. Oh my boy. What are we gonna do, Clive? What are we gonna my do? My darling, darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! Follow this bitch. Finish her. Answer him. We took you in, savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. Finish her. <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people! A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. Sacrifice that is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek. That I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. Phoenix. <sighs> oh, because she has the Phoenix. Sold your country for a child. He has a Phoenix, but why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring. And yet you failed to awaken. 
Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength! Oh! <laughs> How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it! The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors! How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? Still alive, but... What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling the Hamid as we speak! <sighs> Area. Okay, transform time. Hold him. And I will do my duty. What are you? My mega player. Did awaken. Oh. 
Spitfire, <laughs> Spitflare. Oh yeah. I was learning the ability Spitflare from Bahamut. Oh, from Bahamut. Uh, oh nice, because we did technically learn the other thing from uh, Titan, right? No, I didn't actually. Uh, press right in triangle and to release a massive stream of light that sears anything in his path. Use uh, left trigger or left stick to aim. Press X any time to cancel. Flare two extended. Exposure to the flare will cause enemies to become partially staggered, canceling any initiated abilities. Maintaining the flare for its maximum duration, meanwhile, will result in enhanced finishing explosion. <laughs> Panzer Jacoon <laughs> embodying the Phoenix again. Controls for the Phoenix are as follows. Uh, use uh, left stick while holding zero, oh, zero, circle <laughs> to lock onto multiple targets. Release to launch a volley of power balls at once. This is like Panzer Dragoon. Uh, all abilities available will be in the menu. This is exactly like Panzer Dragoon, that's great. <laughs> Ah, 
In space. What's that red dot? I think. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Let's redo that. Yeah, I was panicking too hard.
so close. <laughs> Ugh. What if I can just like shoot it? It's better instead of like trying to get. I don't want that. Time. Focus on one at a time. Dumb. Okay, one at a time is also not a good thing. Maybe like two at a time. <laughs> Alright. 
It's now or never, Joshua. Let's hope I'll be cool, but... Crazy how they did not destroy this crystal formation. Oh, that we're sitting on. Yeah. Two million damage. <laughs> now, Joshua! If only I had Spitfire for the first stagger. That kind of just. Double the Hummets.
the pit. No special spoils. It's not over yet. What now? Oh. Oh, phase two. What? Okay, we just. just this he's definitely gotta eat it. This is drinking me. We have to stop him. Eating. His wings are folding. Not enough, Joshua. I know it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> no way. Joshua, are you alright? Damn it. We have to be stronger than this. Come on, Ifrit. Show us your true power. Okay, wait, let me break now. Body Ifrit's Risen. Advanced versions of most of Ifrit's ability are available for use as Ifrit's Risen. In addition to Wildfire, Ifrit Risen also has access to the ability Light Speed, which, similar to Phoenix Shift, allows for swift approach to a target. Light Speed can be executed by pressing X or X instead of circle. How can we hope to match oh. such power? By trusting in our own. Trusting in our own. Fighting smart player. Super player. Super player.
damage. Jim. Come on, Joshua. Go right through. 
pierce through. <laughs> He's hella cheap. Making up moves that don't exist. Smash! <laughs> I knew it. Four million damage. Dang. <laughs> Cause the supernova on his ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that victory pose. That's so epic. Oh, light shot. Ooh, we get to craft some other high level weapon. And the power of the. Icon Bahamut made manifest. This crystal is as bright as the sun and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear. Well, I wonder if we're going to get his powers now. His gay Bahamut powers. <laughs> well, I need that uh, heart you got there. Destroy that. Is it, uh, <laughs> oh, he's hella dead. We're in space. <laughs> There's no way he can still be alive. <laughs> we thought the same thing. Oh, that means he's alive. I think this is that dominant powers. Keep him alive. How <laughs> can y'all breathe? Oh, I feel like in a con form, it's kind of whatever, but. Once he went human form, I'm like, yeah, he fell dead. <laughs> but I guess his dominant powers let him breathe by, I don't know, drawing the aether from the space, <laughs> from outer space. Is there aether in outer space? That thing. Oh, this is going to be an awkward reunion with his mom. Joshua! Clive! Brothers are back together. <laughs> I haven't seen you in 18 years. My brother. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. Screw mom. She's a bitch. I never dared hope that I would see this day. What are we going to do with the mom? We must pay for all of her treachery. Jill. Most beautiful moment yet. Yeah, yeah. Jill's here too. Oh, she's crying. Oh, poor girl remembers. I love how she, the mom's just chilling over there this whole time. Like, she should have been run away. <laughs> that idea. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Also, Ultima has been whispering in Annette's ear this whole time, which makes sense. She is the truly evil. Oh. Killed it. I knew it. Kill the baby. With the babies. <laughs> Dion's like, checkmate, bitch. Kills dad. Father. I see any question why he disintegrated. Yeah, I'm like, 
<laughs> it's just so important. The mother crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. We gotta take Bahamut powers. Do your thing. I owe him a debt. Oh. <laughs> it's like suck him dry. What? <laughs> Fine. Let me get that, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll get that. Oh, yeah. It's okay. <laughs> Thomas fire soap on. I feel like I'm gonna replace Gerudo. Bahama. You bet. Oh, yeah. Don't break some of his memories. One second. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. They gotta catch him all the time. All the summons. Madness is thus the honor. It's your fault, Daddy. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! <laughs> We're in a crisis here. Uh oh, he killed his dad, didn't he? By the light, by the light, Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Uh -oh. Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not, the populace will come to no harm at their hands. <laughs> For smug, I am here to save you, father. Fuck ass. Save me. A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife. Uh-oh. The traitorous Annabella. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, you got me, you got me. <laughs> not another word, Dion. <laughs> Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. <laughs> A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Just the ball. <laughs> Take him! Big nope. For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those yeah. were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, yeah, no one's gonna take on and all yeah. of their <laughs> like, homes <fuck> have been <laughs> reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers? <laughs> your yeah, they probably look at each other as like, <laughs> how? How are we gonna take? Where are we gonna take? As the mother crystals crumble one by one. And the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear. Our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. It's seduced. A small price to pay. That's hot bitch. Is it not? <laughs> You've been blessed with oh, great damn. power, Dion. This enough kid. to win me the world. What? So go. I don't do shit for you. Claim for me, brother. Brother. Oh hell no. Hey, fuck that.
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. She just <laughs> playing the victim like she has <laughs> been doing. What a bitch. Poor father. How he doted on this his children. Bruh. Evil that he would kid. die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. Oh, so that's but what you broke like, in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Muthos. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Oh. Oh shit. Go, Bahamut. Oh, that's why. Kin Slayer. Sorry, I'll tell you when we leave. Where's Goots? We need his chair. What are we gonna do with this lady? You cannot stay here, mother. Oh, what? Come. Take my hand. I guess she must pay for her crime, so death would be. A what? Is this is all just a dream. <laughs> She's she crazy. <laughs> My favorite part. You will not take me, Shadow. Oh, she gonna kill you herself? Will not take me! She gotta kill herself. <laughs> Do it. That's kind of the only way she could go. <laughs> They're bad. Mother. I still wonder though, like, the, was Ultima always pushing her to do all these things? Or she was just evil already? I don't know. Then again, I guess she would have to already be able to like succumb to all the whisperings of Ultima. That's wild. If it is consciousness that weaves your wills together, Ultima. Consciousness that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. It's a creepy ass dude. The ties that bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. Cloud of darkness. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Creepy. Relax, your majesty. Oh, what? Addicta. Oh, she naked. Sometime later. What? Oh my lord, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to play? 
It's been a long time. It's so fuzzy. If that is your wish. <laughs> What's going on? Man, you are as meek as all the others. What the heck is going on here? Such feeble <laughs> creatures. Oh, shit. <laughs> Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher <laughs> you to your doom. Like Benedicta, what happened? And so you <laughs> blind your fragile wills with strands of consciousness. I was not ready for that. The wretched handiwork of a wretched Doesn't stop people. here. Who's next? The sons of fire were united. Are you naked too? And for but a moment. Their flame burned. Well, I guess it's normal self. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all Primal be Genesis. undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness, and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos e and sell no. everyone to destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, uh. Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. Oh, what? Who's this? It's hot as fuck. Is that his first wife? <laughs> He's like, yeah, let me get that. No. Oh, what? <laughs> What the hell's going on? <laughs> Why are we all naked? <laughs> uh, he probably has that what? What's it called? Oedipus complex or something like that? <laughs> That's what he said? Like why everyone's naked? We did not all have to be naked. First one was okay, you know, Benedicta. She's, you know, hot. His mom's hot too, but that's his mom, so it's kind of like, what? <laughs> Yeah, that was Oedipus complex. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Koopka showed up. I'm like, what the, <laughs> what the hell's going on here? It's... My dream just turned into a nightmare. <laughs> then, like, <laughs> you big. <laughs> of course, <clears throat> Ultima with his. I feel like. Ultima is like a sea creature, like humanoid sea creature. How is your brother? Hmm. Interesting enough, I feel like this story is kind of like fifteen, actually. Asleep. Last fifteen. Since I returned. Yeah, we'll from the replay Dominion. that and kind of go through the story of that one. But that one had a very interesting storyline too. Taya says he should kind of where his feet everything happens to help for a while, like least. the vessel get stronger and stuff. She discovered something on his chest. Yeah, I, I have to replay that game. A swelling. It's very similar in stone. to this idea where they're like, I guess so many things are happening and it's making Clive stronger. Because he's Mythos and he's supposed to, you know, I guess, cause every destruction upon climb, the world. I don't know. Another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? But it, it is interesting. Plot line. It's never ending. The only thing that worries me is that, again, 
Barnabas will be coming in to kill everybody, actually. They want to break the sky lives bonds to, to the world so that you all. would want to destroy everything. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's one more crystal to be done. <laughs> they could have been fucking, you know, just not on screen. Let's fall apart. Uh-oh. Bahamut. I must claim the portion of the icon Bahamut's Essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target, dealing it continuous damage. Use... Oh, we get wings! <laughs> Use Bahamut's iconic feat, Wings of Light, to begin casting Mega Flare. Oh, we have to sit here and charge that shit. An immensely powerful spell that showers enemies with a deluge of sim light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press circle to cast the spell when ready. Taking damage while casting will cancel the spell. No, they aren't because they can't even get a kiss in without someone interrupting. Yeah, that's true. So you won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. Just wishful thinking, rest, of course. We might as well see what Otto has to say. Let me go ahead and equip. Um, I think I'm going to Put it over. Actually, it's hard to say. Actually, I like these. I like Gruda for this because you know when you half break the will, you can use it to kind of like throw the enemy to the ground like that, which allows me to continue stagger. So I might even get rid of Titan, even though I love Titan, but I'm it though. Yeah, fun, but how it really is. Uh, Mega Flare is so OP though; it's worth it. If you dodge, you can get automatic level up on Mega Flare. Uh, since we got rid of Titan, let's go ahead and reset some of these points from Titan. So many ability points. <laughs> this move looks so cool and funny, but I just couldn't get it. I didn't want it. <laughs> Keep gut punching something. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm out of here. <laughs> Jojo's. Giga Flare. Oh, yeah. Our massive beam. Charged light that burns any enemy in it. I want to up upgrade it. It's all it reminds you of. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So good. I just couldn't. Uh, get rid of the other skill because I like the other skill better because you can charge to do massive damage. Let me look at it. It doesn't do as much damage as that one. This one does more stun, but again, I can stun pretty quick. The gouge. That's a four star stunning move. This one's super stunning, of course, because it just highlights everything. Uh, do I just want to upgrade this? Probably. Why not? Why not? Because I guess I'll upgrade one of these. Oh, do I want this? It's probably good for... Oh. We can flamethrower hands. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Of course, ignition is way better, I think. You can just stack them all up. <laughs> What's this? Oh, multiple light aspects. Familiars that attack in any enemy on which Clive uses magic. Oh, okay, so it's just extra DPS. Oh, it's, it has pretty good stun though. It seems. I'm all about that stun. Yeah, it's probably good. It's... Oh, I can't have both of them though. I just remember. So it's just this one or this one. Hmm. I think this one's better. I'm gonna reap on this one. Only 100, but oh well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll just run around with this build for now. Did you see the pair that got Let's see if we can grab the new sword. What'd you want? Wow, <laughs> it's only plus two. It's even worth crafting. Probably. No scratches, right? It's 
I don't remember what sword I had. It's better. Oh, I had the Excalibur. Yeah, it's really sad that uh, these weapons don't keep their elemental affinity so that, you know, it's better or worse against certain enemies. And? Well, there it is. I hope next game they do, or even if it's like a DLC or something, they keep the elemental affinity stuff. Oh, let's go and grab this. How may I help you today, Clive? He's so Come happy. to claim your just desserts. <laughs> you know, just saw her mom kill herself. But she deserves. There it. you are. Look at all she's done. Best of luck out there, Sid. Sid. I probably won't equip this, but see how much it actually does. Twenty-five percent. And we can stack all these, which is a waste of accessory slots, but and we could healing for a lot. So many accessories. Unfortunately, a lot of these I just don't care to use. Not like a waste. Look at that. Oh, this is only for high potions, though. I already don't really use potions as it is, so it doesn't make any sense for me to equip Arthur, those. How fares the realm? The realm? In chaos. Oh, she's just fine. <laughs> as long as you look past the fact storms out mother crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. Yeah. And Gav, he's with your uncle in the free cities, helping Mid with her project. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. Still waiting on a reply, though. So I know, uh, you know Ultima is the one that kind of like started this end of days well, that type on situation. Of good. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? But oh no, I'm just the messenger. I'll leave the scheme until I was more suited to the task. Yeah, he's starting to think like it's a world destroying all these other crystals <laughs> on the current state of things. But. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. Let's look at this hunt. Hunts. Nectar. <laughs> Alright, it's a bunch of new hunts. I don't know where this one is. The Nebraqua legends tell of a dread dragon who set near half the realm alight with his toward breath. Or being sealed away behind a magical mist by Gregor himself. We still know where it is, though. I don't know where this one is either. I have a feeling I'll probably just look up the locations for these on the webs. It's really interesting. Some of these hunts are just regular dudes <laughs> that's just running amok. And they're like, can somebody end him? Merchants who ply their trade across the fields of Karava tell of an outlaw five and. 20 hands high. A what? 5 and 20 hands high? What's that mean? 520? <laughs> That's what? 6 foot 8? And mighty of Thu who preys upon unsupported travelers they claim he lives alone in one of the many abandoned villages that litter the region. But none has been brave nor foolish enough to narrow the search any further. If you read if you who read this have either or both of those qualities let the Malkians beg your aid. Oh, his whole bandit crew, the Magath brothers. Oh, I wonder if it's like the Magus sisters. But instead of sisters, they're just a bunch of bandits. That'd be pretty cool. I like a play on that. A lone rowing boat has been sighted, making land off the coast of Port Sold. Solde. Its occupants wearing the garb and speaking language of the Iron of Iron Kingdom Crusaders. One can only assume that they come to take their vengeance upon Sin the Outlaw for destroying that which they hold most dear, the crystal. We advise against all travel to the area, lest they think to kill or capture our members in retaliation. Quietlands Rosaria. Quietlands Rosaria and Valmar Dalmachia. Let's see. I really wish that they put where these hunts are, because I have no idea where these guys are. I forgot. Did it say the Quiet Sands? Where they're 
hold up. So. And what about the other one? Mm, probably in this area. The mare, well, mare. It's probably in there somewhere. Makes sense to me. I mean, I can't go anywhere right now, but just planning out for later. Maybe it's that way. Let's, let's talk to who I talk to. Speak with Vivian. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. I'm sorry I couldn't save your home. Which is what happened to Dion. My countrymen Did are stronger than you bury think. Him? A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. They'll be back on their feet in no time. Wait, is she an Imperial? I hope so. Whatever. The Dominion. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. Tempting though it may be, Sun King will <laughs> not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. Oh. It's gonna show the Beneath these darkened the skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. It definitely is. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. Ooh. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Iron Heyar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It yeah. would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. And technically it's our fault for destroying all these crystals, but... A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed <laughs> fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing, but pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. That's what exactly mm -hmm. what's gonna happen. None but us. Because he's next. <laughs> Clive's like, oh, one more big boy to take care of. It's definitely looking bleak, <laughs> all of this. I'm pretty sure now the monsters out in the it's fields strong. are stronger now. We got all the aether that's everywhere. Let me guess. You're here about the skies. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you don't know, Lewisman? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. 
as for what has disturbed the heavens. That, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the Divine. There is nothing divine about him. Ah, <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? <sighs> Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Okay. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others have to say. This realm's fucked. It's definitely sad that uh, Bahama had to die that way. I think some Shakespearean shit, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it. It's Jill. Guys, we have a problem. Only one. Only one. Be a first. <laughs> it would. Actually, there are three. <laughs> of course. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Oh. Martha's got a cash account at her gates and talk oh. of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dalamil. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains, <laughs> it, pours. it fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. How are we supposed to get Which there in time? There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Yeah. Let them know we're on our way. Hell yeah. Let's see what this is. A bunch of side quests. How are you doing? How you doing? <laughs> we gotta just talk like that. Oh, you fight. Okay. Interesting, yeah, there's enough? main quests in every region. Um... I think I want to take care of the hunts, but I also take care of some of these as well. Maybe it is running late. I should just do the hunts and leave well, the main quest for next time. Let's see, Valmer, Damachia, Quiet Sands. Let's see if I can get to the Quiet Sands. White Sands, Dalmechia. Wait, Dalmechia? I forget. It's like, I think I meant White Sands. Okay, here. Let me go here for the hunt. Balmer is the other one, which I think it's over here. And it's not open yet because I haven't been there. Maybe I should go there first. Go there first. I know where the other one is, but I don't know where this one is. Let's try to find out where this dude is. Hmm. Okay. I'm assuming all the monsters everywhere are leveled up. Not a lot, then some. Nice try. Nice try. 
I only got double kill. Yeah. <laughs> That's hella good. Yeah, that would be hella good. I'm actually really good at dodging if uh, you guys haven't seen already. <laughs> Wait, how do I get down there? I actually want to go down that way. How do I? Oh. How do I get down that way? Oh, right here. Probably. That's the case. That's probably where I want to go. Yeah, let me... Go here. I guess we can do this quest first. It's already here. Oh, shit. What's going on here? <laughs> Fucking thieving bastards! Sid! Yeah. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. Oh, Jill? Yeah. She's great. Should I be worried? <laughs> uh, you haven't been introduced. This is my Jill. girl, Jill. Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? Or what? What did you say? Ah! As if by magic. <laughs> Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hair has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? She makes a fair point, Sid. <laughs> Got it. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. I'm the rabbit. Suppose we just follow the shouting. <laughs> the shouting. talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandits' ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat mm. that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Here, yeah, Clive is here to solve all your problems. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like <laughs> adults. Oh, that side eye. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at us too. <laughs> Victor. That's pretty funny. What's he doing here? Bro, who this guy was. Sid. And Lady Jill. Who's this guy again? <laughs> what brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil. Is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. Obtain. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Kostner's. These are cursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. 
or an entire city for that matter. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. So, we're gonna go kill some bandits. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by the sound of it. But if left to smolder, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Uh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? That I saw the old Sid. <laughs> well, if it were my namesake, he'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. Mm. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yeah. <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. Ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own before presenting them with a third oh. option and that would be Fine. to pool our resources oh, yeah. <laughs> and save the city ourselves why fight each other so when five, all that fear and anger bandits. can be directed at the bandits it appears we have a plan of action victor pay conrad a visit see if you can't convince him of his folly i'll speak with natalie as you wish Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. Oh, we're spread that rooms. may prove useful. Stir up the pot. Don't worry, Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Yep. Play along. What he means to say is yes. <laughs> I'll chill. That's why we have her around. She's the smart one. <laughs> Five is killed. Ah, here she is. Lady of the Spear. The Lady oh, of the Spear. She's like herself. the mercenary. Conrad, may I introduce you to Jane? Yeah. <laughs> commander of the Red Wings. Oh, Red Wings. The oldest mercenary guild in the world. I believe the, the Red Wings cities. are a the pleasure, name of the my lady. squad in Final Fantasy IV. Pleasure is all mine. Really cool. They As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canva to inquire about a contract. Yeah, I love all these little eggs. Victor <laughs> says you told him no. That there aren't any men left to hire. Is that true? True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just from us Red Wings. You know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. If boys. it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a gaggle of unblooded striplings? <laughs> that a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your brave men than you yourselves? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards who they're dealing with. Oh. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> Conrad's not what you call the brightest Bad. candle in the crypt. <laughs> and there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not Sid. Well played, my lady. Well, because Clive would just solo all the bandits by himself. <laughs> then let us band together and show these brutes that Dalamil is not to be trifled with. Oh, I'm ruined. A shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would. You would have what? 
I mean, it may still be possible to buy some. Ah, here he is now. Yeah. Natalie, allow me to introduce oh, Lord old. Underhill of Rundalar's prestigious League of Merchants. <laughs> uh, we do not look like a merchant at Lord all. Underhill. <laughs> at your service. Underhill. I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the capital's stores. Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's <laughs> harvest won't be enough to fill them for winter. Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine. Driving the prices <laughs> higher than most commoners could afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> it is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of supplementing our stores, meager though they regrettably are. And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I sense Conrad is not wrong in his assessment of the bandit's likely return. Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure what little we still have. Food, weapons, herbs, everything. If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship, but those that are certain to follow, we must stand united. All right. If it will help to protect my home, <laughs> I'll do it. You're not happy. But you needn't Ow. have gone through this charade. Oh, she knows. We don't know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not workmanlike. She saw right through it. <laughs> I didn't say it was good. Really, that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. <laughs> That's fine. Like, Clive is not <laughs> a merchant. Not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. Yeah. Well, Dago. I don't know. Dago. Clive Rancy and Clive take him with you. When did you get so big? When did you get so big? Get so big. Mommy, I'm scared. Good news, Sid. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat gracefully accepted their new roles. New roles? With time, they may even learn to. Time no longer appears to be the luxury it was before lunch. Bandits? I take it your scouts Yay. found the bandits. Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. Oh. It appears they march for Dalamil as we speak. Okay. All of them. Oh. You're not serious. Okay, we got they Muhammad on our side. They want the whole damn town. I have a favor to ask. I'm told the bandits march in two groups, one from the south and one from the desert, in a move doubtless intended to stretch our already gossamer-thin defenses. Very well. Jill and I will meet those from the desert. But what of the rest? The rest, my friend, the city shall yeah. fight. Together. The stakes, I concede, are high. But if this does not unite Dalamil, Nothing will. That is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around each other's throats but a moment ago. Then it will be for us to see that their hands are kept occupied. And I do mean us. I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can. And we, we will do the same. <laughs> we will kill them all. Let's, uh, exactly how strong Vomit is. <laughs> the women folk have come to bug us. The women folk. I'll take that one. <laughs> yeah. He's all yours. Oh shit. I don't know why they don't want to attack me. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Really? Ah. Level 4. I think it maxed out at 2, but maybe because I get. Ah, Jai Dodge. Jai Dodge again, dude. Do I have to, like, target him? I dodge him. I dodge him. Yeah, I think I have to upgrade it before I can get him. I'm like barely not leveled up. That was a very sloppy the town's fight. people. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Do you have to fight both sets of bandits? Which I don't mind. What about fighting? <laughs> What's going on here? Natalie. Oh. <laughs> I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, comrade. Oh, <laughs> is that how they you saved Alamil. Hook up now? We all saved Alamil. <laughs> Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the desert won't be joining us either. Pity. Pity. The plan worked, Sid. Granted, it only took an army of bloodthirsty bandits at our gate. Yeah. Calm now, Victor. Why quibble over the details? We are united, and that is all that matters. As for you, Sid... You fight considerably better than you act. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> That's cool. 
definitely leveled up this time. Oh, yeah. I wonder what the max level is. I wonder if it's like F7 remake where it's like level 50s. Or is it level 60? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think we really need to get to level 150. Yeah, let's go and level this up. Thing I already upgraded. Yeah, I didn't realize I didn't switch those. Switch that skill out. I meant to use Giga Flare, <laughs> but I did not use Giga Flare. Oh, look at that damage though. Alright, next up is going that way, so it's not this door. Or so, this way. where did you learn to travel? You fought very bravely. Bravely? I'm just gonna do this one hunt. Call it a night. Run like the wind. Like the wind. Yeah, I guess the chocobos are like, not chocobos, but just enemies in general aren't really scary. It's not in the desert. A very like I don't know theme song. Feel very sad. Uh, I'm feeling this is not where the hunt's gonna be. Oh, shit. 
I got surely. That was one of those door things. Oh, flip. Not right there. Uh, <laughs> I'll take way too much damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So much unnecessary damage. Do anything with this thing. Monolith. What is this? Thanks, Gal. End up something. We have a tutorial on these things. This one's awake. It is. Mm, this was really cool. The chronolith uh, are similar to the Aret Stone, in which, or in that, within them is hidden a virtual battlefield accessible by Clive and Clavelum. Each chronolith presents Clive with a time trial in which he must combat continuous waves of deadly enemies equipped only with the feet and abilities of a single item. So, so it's pretty much a, Let's see what's inside. Uh, script of battle, whatever. Garuda. Why don't we get to choose which skills Garuda? Or, yeah. Garuda skills we can have. I can't tell which those. Oh! Uh, to complete the trial, Clive must defeat all icons before time runs out, using only the predetermined defeat and abilities of a single icon. Hey, what's up, Linton? Hello, I'm here to see spoilers. Well, luckily, the main quest stuff I've put on hold, so we're just seeing battles. <laughs> so you just see a bunch of battles, but no actual thingabobs. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, it's all good, though. Um, so I gotta figure out how to do all this stuff with triple wheel. Additional time can be earned by successfully landing the battle techniques listed below. Uh, pretty much do everything, really. Get one second for a first system dodge. Then ten magic bursts. I actually never use these bursts. I always do the charge, full charge. But Killing blow with the iconic ability. Punish to the downward attack. Yep, I do that too. Oh, gouge. Track enemy with gouge while tapping the button to extend. The oh, I never knew you could extend the durability by mashing on it. Good to know. Then a forward melee combo after drawing enemy in with deadly impertinence. I actually didn't know you can just keep mashing to keep swiping. Same battle technique bonus three times. Anyways. Yeah. <laughs> 
probably not a great deal. Oh, big boy. Stage one complete. There's more. There's more. Did it? Oh. We don't take pictures, yeah. We don't get the. Tornado move, unfortunately. Hand of Dion. Same, same moves. Oh, we got Rook's Gambit, yeah. I do like this move. If you tar or not target, time it correctly, you get a cool animation. Um, but yeah. Oh, jeez. I got it. Get the air for the last stage. Oh, I got all that off screen. That's not really. I did that early, but Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yummy there. He went for growl. Oh, what? That one? <laughs> Say which growl? There's so many different types. There right, we go. Tornado. Roof Gambit. Alright.
Another stage. <laughs> How many levels are there? Stage. Purple is fine. <laughs> oh, it's a nidhog or it's a curl. I hate these things. Is it just one? Is it the only? Enemy? Actually, wasn't that bad. Ooh, when I fought this thing, first time. Oh, there's no like uh, time bonuses. Gouge. Yeah. Thanks for being <laughs> have a good night guys well thanks for coming uh that sucks if i had 20 more seconds i think i would have uh unfortunate i don't want to do it again <laughs> hmm. so have you beaten it Amanda? have you beaten that particular one you blame your raid? No, it's okay. Nah, the raid wouldn't have mattered. I didn't have enough DPS. Finish him off. I don't even remember if you can even use what or no weapons. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I needed like. Maybe 30 seconds. Maybe like 20, 20 minutes enough. Yeah, 20 more seconds. <sighs> the Titans, but not the Rudas. I didn't know where it was worth it. Gotcha. Uh, this is an RPG. You can never use items because you might need them later. Yep. The only thing though is like in this game, you don't really need your items. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I have all these items, but I never use it. Unless I'm like desperate, but yeah. Most times I only use one or two potions. At most. I get on my chest with Yeah, I wanted to do a hunt. Good girl. You run like the wind. Oh, it's one of these guys. Healthy run back. <laughs> it doesn't count for 
the thing there. I'm begging to die though. Sounds good. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good night. Find this hunt before going to sleep, but I'm not 100% sure where it is. Oh, there's a It's up here. Oh, that guy scared me. <laughs> Wait, jumped over that fence. I'm not ready for that. Look at all these drops, like, I really don't know what they're for anymore. Because there are things in craft, but it's just very low level. I don't need it. We just have like random materials for no reason. This must have been a fishing village. Before everyone left. This speed potion? Just 10 gil on me. <laughs> like, it's supposed to be an item of some sort, but it's just 10 gil. Like, it's not. Let's see what else.
I feel like that should be a much better drop than just 10 or 25 kill. So. back here. He just clap. I don't think this is where the hunt's gonna be. I'm really not sure where it's gonna be though. here <laughs> uh, I really don't know where the it's supposed to be then I just have forgotten supposed to be where it's called the Vamir Vamir it's the region I'm supposed to look for Maybe up there oh no I can't go up there I think something here. Got to go down that way. Am I? I'm so far away. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do this another time. I have to go this way, but it looks like it's blocked off there, so I don't know. Oh, confused. Anyway, let's go back to town. I probably should have healed myself because I can't use items in the village, which is very weird. I cannot use the inn to heal myself, which is also very weird. I'm pretty sure my health is not. Yeah, it's not healed. Can I like, eat something to heal myself? One minute. The robot did well to bring Comrade and Natalie together. I just step outside the village real quick. Get myself. I think I'll leave it at that. Uh, next time we will continue on. More stuff. Nice, we got Bahamut now. Alright, thanks everyone for coming, and I'll see you guys next time.